at the front of the mat, feet are hips distance, reaching the crown of the head nice and tall. Work on maybe some back flexibility today because I have a handstand challenge that I'm participating in. I'm not a host, I'm just doing it. But it's hollow back, which is a lot of back bend and an inversion. So let's just heat up that back, right? Let's find a little stillness here, reaching the crown of the head tall. Let's rotate the palms to face the front of the mat and find a nice long neck. A little tiny micro bend in the knee. Inhale nice and high. Exhale, bringing the elbows and lifting through the chest. Inhale nice and high. And then fold. Knees bend a lot. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Let's take our right foot to the back of the mat. Take our time. Spread the feet far. And then we're just going to rock into the hips. So maybe we're higher here. Maybe we're really low. It just depends on where we are today. So maybe we did some cardio before this and our muscles are warm, or maybe we've been working at the computer all day and we're feeling really tight, or anywhere in between. Let's drop the back knee, and then lift it, squeeze the glute, slowly drop it, lift, squeeze the glute, one more drop. Those abdominals are engaged as well, squeeze the glute, back knee is gonna drop, Toes can release or stay tucked. Let's walk ourselves up. Hips come up a smidge. That front, that hip is going to come right in front of the knee. Inhale nice and high with the hands. Exhale, sit a little lower, trying not to dump in that low back. So we're going to retract the shoulder blades again. So drawing them together, pulling the shoulders away from the ears. Nice deep inhale. Exhale, sit a little lower. Okay, so we're bringing the elbows in. Dropping our chest towards inside of that thigh, reaching the hands back by the hips. Holding nice deep inhale. Exhale, maybe we want to drop one hand because that's a lot for this early in the practice. Again, nice deep inhale. Exhale, let's drop both hands. Lift that back knee and then tiptoe or step right back up to the front of the mat. We're finding a half lift. Getting our blood pressure back. Exhale, fold. And then reverse swan dive. So arms are coming out, up, lift nice and high. Bend the knees a little. Lift through the chest. Find that upper back bend. <sighs> Inhale high. Exhale, we're going to fold again. We'll switch sides. So knees bend a lot or just a little, but it's pretty early, so we might have a deep bend. And then inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. Left foot's coming all the way to the back of the mat. Take our time. Find that little bit of a rock. Opening the hips, maybe we need to be higher for this. Just being careful to not feel any pain or discomfort in our knee or our low back. Pull that abdom those abdominals in. And then when we're ready, we're just gonna drop that back knee, barely tap, lift and squeeze the glute. Slowly bend, tap, lift, squeeze the glute. Again. Lift and squeeze, and then we're dropping it all the way. The back knee can tuck. I'm sorry, the back toes can tuck or, st or release. Slowly come up, same thing. We might lift a bit, and then we're dropping. Let's bring the hands up. Exhale, so shoulders roll up, back and down. Our neck is nice and long, and we draw those shoulder blades together. Palms are facing each other, maybe even taking that pinky and rolling the pinkies in towards each other. Sit nice and low in those hips. Now slowly drop the chest towards the inside of that thigh. Hands are on either side of the foot, palms face the floor. Shoulder blades squeeze together. And we held it for a couple breaths. We had the option to drop that left hand. But keep the core engaged. Slowly release, tuck the back toes, lift. And when we're ready, Tiptoe that foot up or just step right back up to the front of the mat. Hip distance feet here. Find that half lift. Now lean the weight towards the toes. Feel the hamstrings lengthen. Exhale, fold, bend the knees and reverse swan dive. Come on up. Exhale, bring the elbows in. Now lift the chest. See if we can bring our elbows behind the ribs. Ah. Inhale nice and high. Swan dive. Half lift. 
exhale, folding all the way down, taking both feet to the back of the mat. So we'll find ourselves in our plank. Our shoulders are right over the wrists. Fingers are spread, spread wide. And then we're not letting our hips pike up or drop low. So we're nice and strong here. And then we drop the knees, rocking our shoulders past our wrists. Chaturanga elbows touch the ribs, coming all the way to the belly. <sighs> all right, release the toes, but squeeze the glutes. Now take that belly button in like there's a drop of red paint, and our mat is bleach white, super white, and we don't want to get that, that red paint on our new white mat. Shoulders roll up, back, and down, and we can take a nice deep inhale. Exhale, reach back. Keep that belly button pulled in. Reaching the fingertips back. Ah. So glutes are still active, so are those abdominals. Keep reaching. Slowly release, bring the elbows in, extend the hands straight out, but keep the neck nice and long. Pull that belly button tight still. Now squeeze the glutes, lifting our feet, lifting the hands. So maybe the belly button touched down a little. That's okay, but keep pulling those abdominals in. Now bring the elbows and lift through the chest. Exhale right back out. Sorry, inhale. Exhale, bring the elbows in. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring it in, holding it for five, four, three, two, one. Release. Hands are under the chest. Tuck the toes, walk those knees in. Ah, pull the elbows in. Pressing up. Knees lift, plank. Downward facing dog. First one, right? So bending one knee, straightening the other. And switch and switch, and switch. Going at our own pace, so bending as we like. Maybe we like to do a little faster. Maybe we wanna do a lot slower. Maybe our hips get a little sassy in it. We bend one hip to one side, and then we switch. So if we choose to have a little sassy walking of the dog, our tail's really waggling. We want to make sure we're pressing strong into those hands. Okay. Releasing the heels towards the mat. So stay here to continue heating up the body, pressing away, or take our right hand, tap the left toes, and come back, tap the opposite toes. So we just alternate tapping our hand to our opposite foot. Those abdominals are really pulling in. Going at our own pace. We'll be here for, I don't know, another 30 or so seconds. But continue to breathe. About five more seconds. All right, last one. Let's come forward into that plank again. So knees can come back down, or maybe our shoulders pass our wrists. With our knees up, we chaturanga all the way to the belly. Release the feet. Squeeze the glutes. Let's take our hands at our low back. Maybe we interlace our fingers. Maybe our shoulders are feeling really tight. Mine are really tight today. So I'm going to link my thumbs instead. Or we keep our palms facing the floor and we reach from there. But we squeeze the glutes. We pull that belly button in and we extend our fingertips towards the back of the room or our knuckles if our fingers are interlaced. Nice. Back bend, keeping our chin slightly tucked. All the time we like to look up and see what's in front of us. We're hyperextending our neck there. We want a nice natural extension of our spine. So we keep the chin slightly tucked. Not super tucked, but just a nice long... Straight neck. Slowly release down, bringing the hands under the chest. Tuck the toes, walk the knees in, elbows in, press up. Ah, knees lift, downward facing dog. Let's inhale the right toes up and bring the right foot all the way to the front of the mat. So if we need to, we use our hands. So sometimes it gets stuck halfway, right? 
So we don't stay there. We're not gonna stick in our high lunge with our knee past our ankle. So instead we just use our hand, take our time, bring it up. Feet are spread far, right foot's on the right track, left foot's on the left track of our railroad track. And we walk ourselves up. Sit nice and low in those hips. Take the back heel over the toes. Inhale nice and high. Exhale, sit low. Inhale. Exhale, maybe we sit a little lower. Nice, deep inhale, one more. Exhale, sit a little lower. All right, when we're ready, inhale nice and high. Exhale, swan dive. Take those right toes to the sky, shake it out. Ah, dropping our foot, upward facing dog or cobra. So shoulders come over the wrists. Then we go really far on our toes, so our shoulders past the wrists. Chaturanga, flipping our feet. Glutes squeeze, press away, lifting the crown of the head. Flipping our feet back, downward facing dog. We switch sides. Let's take the left toes to the sky. Give the right leg a little bend. Lift the left toes higher. Inhale here. Exhale, crunch in that knee to the nose. Round, round, round. Lift the left hand and take that foot there. Again, using our hand to help it up if we need. We want our feet spread far. Our hips sink low. Front knee is right over the ankle, not over the toes. Let me take our time coming up. Ah, inhale nice and high, exhale sink, shoulders up, back and down. So pull those abdominals and take the heel over the toes, working the hips lower, inhale lift, exhale maybe the hips come a little lower, inhale, exhale maybe a little lower, okay one more inhale, exhale, swan dive here. Hands on either side of the foot, take the left toes to the sky, shake it out. Foot drops, taking our shoulders past the wrist, upward facing dog or cobra. Flipping back, downward facing dog. Inhale, right toes come up, bringing the right foot all the way to the front of the mat. Hips are low, slowly come on up, high lunge. So hands can come up. Or maybe we want to keep them on the thigh because we're going to do our knee bend. We're only going to do one really slow one. We're just going to add on. So slowly bend the back knee. Tap. Lift. Squeeze that glute. Swan dive. Take the right toes to this guy. Keep them up. Shake it out. Coming forward. Just chaturanga. And then push straight back up. Toes are still at this guy. Sweep that same foot to the front of the mat. Hips are low. Inhale nice and high. Exhale, sit low in the hips. So same thing this time we're doing too. So bend that left knee, barely tap, lift and squeeze. Barely tap, lift, squeeze, swan dive. Right toes come to the sky again. So we can stay right here. Or maybe we came forward. We can even drop the left knee as we chaturanga. Pressing up, back toward down dog. Take that right foot all the way to the front. Feet are spread far. Come on up, high lunge. Sit low, we're doing three. Barely tap or bend that left knee. Two and three. All right, swan dive. Right toes come to the sky, shake it out. Let's drop that foot this time. We're choosing upward facing dog, cobra, or staying in our down dog. So slowly come forward, chaturanga. Our choice, so maybe we stick with our cobra. So we're all the way in the belly and we lift the chest, exhale back down, and we meet in our downward facing dog. <sighs> All right, so we're switching sides. Let's take the left toes to the sky. So if that right leg is locked out, give it a little bend, lift through the left toes higher, exhale, round that spine, bring the foot all the way to the front. Hips are low, taking our time. Slowly come on up, railroad track feet here. Inhale nice and high. Shoulders up, back, and down. Here's where we have the option to bring our hands to the thigh. Or we keep them up. We barely bend that back knee. Tap, lift, and squeeze the glute. Come on down. Left toes come to the sky. So hands or shoulders distance. Lift. If the hip is really opening, if we feel that the front of our left hip is pointing towards the left side of our room, square it down so it's pointing towards the mat. Come forward. Chaturanga. Press up, 
Down dog, take that left foot back to the front. Hips are low, come on up. High lunge. Exhale, sit low. Here's where we have that option to maybe drop the hands or keep them lifted. Barely tap, lift and squeeze, then glute. Barely tap that knee, lift and squeeze, swan dive. Left toes come to the sky. Ah. All right, square that hip down, shift forward. So our right knee might need to come down. That's okay. But our shoulders pass the wrist, chaturanga. Press back up. Toes come back up. And then taking that foot to the front of the mat again. Hips are low. Inhale nice and high. Exhale, sit low. All right, here's three. Barely tap. Lift and squeeze. Barely tap. Lift and squeeze. One more. Come on down. Take the left toes to the sky. Shake it out, dropping our foot. We're coming all the way to our belly. But first, let's do an upward facing dog or cobra. So our choice, come forward. Chaturanga. Remember to press the floor away. Squeeze the glutes. And keep the thighs off the floor for our upward facing dog. Back to our down dog. And then... We're all meeting on our belly. So we come forward, shoulders past the wrist, chaturanga, all the way to the belly. Glutes are squeezing. Pulling that belly button in, taking our hands back by the hips. Now flip our palms so they're facing the floor. Inhale, exhale, reach a little farther back. Our tops of our feet can lift off the mat, but the abdominals are super active here. The glutes are as well. We're not gonna let them go on vacation. Inhale. Exhale, reach the fingertips back. Find a bit more of a back bend. Inhale. Exhale, reach on back. Slowly release. Ah, hands under the shoulders. Tuck our toes, hips up. Elbows in. Press up. Open the knees wide. Toes together. Sit on back. Child's pose. Ah, so our knees are wide here. And our toes are together. So the legs are a bit of a V-shape so that we can lengthen that spine. Mm, feeling it kind of a counter stretch for the because we round forward all day long, usually over our phones or our computers or maybe our steering, steering wheels. Maybe not as much our steering wheels now that we're all stuck at home. Let's take our hands off the mat to the right side. Coming back to center. Off to the opposite side. So we should feel a nice stretch on the side of the body. So if we don't, walk the hands a little farther. Back to center. Coming back to our hands and knees. We'll do a couple cat cows here. So just adjusting, making sure the shoulders are directly over the wrists. The hips are directly over the knees. So we don't want them too far or too close. We want to look like a nice solid table here, pressing through the hands. Now drop the belly. As our belly drops, we lift the chin and the tailbone and take a nice deep inhale, inflating the lungs as much as we can. And then exhale, tuck the tailbone, roll all the way through until we hit that chin, squeeze all oh, that air out. Lifting the tailbone, rolling from the tailbone, starting all the way to the chin, inhaling. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, roll, 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 all the way until that chin comes in. Now see if we can lift the spine higher, press hung harder into the hands. Tailbone lifts, rolling. Inhale, chin. Exhale, tucking and rounding. Again. So we can stay right here, or maybe I'm going to change it up a bit. So we come up around in that cat. Now take the rib over to the right. As we inhale, let the belly drop nice, slow. Exhale, round. So like a little barrel roll, belly drops. Inhale, off to the left, up, round. Exhale, inhaling, exhaling. We'll do one more. That brings us at about four. Inhale. And then pausing at the top, switch directions. Drop into the left, inhale. Exhale, press away. Inhaling as we drop. Exhaling. One more. Drop the belly. Tuck the toes. Lift the knees. 
lift the tailbone nice and high. Now we should be able to shift forward to our plank easily. So maybe we did and we went, oh no, thank you. That's not comfy. I need to adjust my feet. Now find that downward facing dog. Inhale forward. Exhale back to our down dog. Inhale forward. Exhale back. One more. Inhale forward. And back. All right. So when we're ready, we're going to bend the knees so they're just hovering over the mat. Now press harder into the hands, lifting the tailbone higher. Bend the elbows so they're just hovering over the mat, but squeeze the elbows in like we're holding a beach ball between them. Extend everything. Lift the tailbone high. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees and the elbows. Hug those elbows in, holding it, holding it, holding it. Extend back out. Let's do that again. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, hugging those elbows in. And then sit on back. Let's do two more. On that, that second one, inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, hugging them in and pressing away. We're going to hold it. Should we do eight? Yeah? Why not, right? All right. So maybe shake out one hand, shake out the other. Make sure our hands are shoulders distance. Inhale, lifting the heels high. Exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, hug them in. Now lift the tailbone higher for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. My veins are popping out. Like, what are you doing? We're getting stronger, veins. That's what we're doing. All right. Inhale, lift the heels high. Exhale, bend the knees deep. Look between the thumbs. Step, hop, tiptoe, crawl, float, fly. I don't know. Up to the front of the mat. Inhale, lift the chest, bring the hands all the way to the thighs, adjust the pants if we need, let our feet are hips distance, we're getting our blood pressure back, and we're lengthening our spine again, so draw the shoulder blades together, pulling the shoulders away from the ears, now sit the hips back like we're trying to find a little chair back there, like our legs are super sore, and we're holding on, and we're like, where's that chair, I want to sit, <sighs> oh, it's not there, okay, I guess I have to rely on my own strength, so we're going to tuck the tailbone a little, Lift the chest, bring the hands straight out. They're reaching, but the shoulder blades are still retracting. Ah. Inhale nice and high. Exhale, bring the elbows in, lifting through the chest. Inhale nice and high. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chest lifts. Exhale, fold. Planting the hands, take your feet to the back of the mat. Shoulder distance hands, find that plank first. Down dog. Inhale, the left toes up. So bend that right leg a little so we can lift the left toes higher. Press harder into the hands and make sure that we don't have more weight in one hand over the other. So we want to square the shoulders, keeping the left toes up and our core engaged. Inhale. Exhale, shift forward. Shoulders right over the wrist. Bend that left knee like we're trying to touch our toes to our head. Inhale, nice and high. Exhale, shift forward. Knee bends, toe goes towards the head. Inhale. Exhale, shift forward. Inhale. Exhale. That's four. We're going to hold this fifth one. Exhale, come forward. Press hard into the hands. Lift the knee for five, four, three, two, one. Step back. Upward facing dog or cobra. Shift forward. Or maybe we hold our down dog. Or maybe we find a child's pose. Slipping our feet. Maybe extra chaturanga. Press up. Downward facing dog. Ah. What? We got to do the other side still? Yep. But we're strong. We got this. Inhale those op that opposite foot up. So I'm lifting my right toes. But bend the left leg a little. That standing leg. And lift the other toes higher. Press away through the hands. Try to make sure that our shoulders are on the same level. And when we're ready, we shift forward, bend that knee, extend nice and high, exhale, shift forward, bend the knee, point the toe towards the head, inhale, nice and high, exhale, come forward, I know we're getting tired, inhale, all right, we got two more, shift forward, did those abdominals go on vacation, mine did, pull them tight, this is our last one. So bend the knee, lift the knee, point the toes for four, three, two, one, extend. Oh, drop that foot, shake out the leg, 
Shake out the leg, shake out the arm, shake out the arm. Upward facing dog or cobra. Extra push up, option. <sighs> okay, let's come forward. Hands and knees. So we're gonna have a couple options. So we're gonna come all the way forward with our hands and working our chest towards the floor. But if we know we don't like that feeling already, instead, we're just gonna come all the way to our belly because we get the same feeling, so chaturanga. So walking the hands out for that puppy type pose, or we bring the hands under the chest. All right, elbows that pull in like they're trying to touch our ribs, and we make our neck really long. Our chin has that little tuck, so we're a nice long neck. And then from here, we're tucking our toes, and we're just walking our knees in and feeling our hips lift a bit. So we're getting that rounding feeling in our mid-back and our thoracic spine. So we shouldn't feel anything in our low back. The abdominals are engaged, and then we pull the shoulders away from the ears. In fact, let's take our hands and pull our hands, like our hands are trying to touch our knees, but they're not gonna go anywhere because they're stuck under our chest. Maybe the knees walk in a little more. Or maybe we walk our hands out and do that same thing so the knees walk in, but plant the hands and pull back like we're trying to bring the hands back. The chest is down. So our, our toes, our knees, our chest, and our chin are touching the floor and our hands. Feeling that nice back bend. If it is uncomfortable, it hurts, we come back down. Maybe we brought our hands out and went, oh, I wish I didn't do that. We bring them back under the chest for that support. Ah. Okay, when we're ready, press back up. Maybe we need to stop for a second. And then we press back up. We're opening the knees wide, toes together, child's pose. Forehead is down. So now is a perfect time to grab a drink if we need. Where is my drink? So grab a drink if you need. I think my kids stole my water bottle. So just take another breath or two. Maybe we want to roll out our wrists. Maybe open and close. We're going to open our shoulders. So let's come all the way forward. So we're back on our hands and knees. Shoulders past the wrist. Shadow and go all the way to the belly. So we're laying like we're taking a nap. Our forehead is down. We're going to stretch the shoulders. So it's very hard to probably walk through this on a video. So we're going to imagine that we are the letter T. Our arms are coming straight out like a T. Our forehead is down. Our body is straight. We're gonna keep our right hand extended out. So the right arm stays straight. The right palm is pressed into the floor. Keep that right hand there. Now take the left hand, bend the elbow like we're gonna do push up with that left hand and bring the left hand under the chest. And when we're ready, we use that left hand to press into and roll over so that our body's laying on the right hip. So that right arm is still extended out. Maybe our knees bent a little, but we're feeling a stretch in the front of that right shoulder. If we'd like, we can take the left leg and stack it on top of our right. Maybe instead we want to prop it out in front, or maybe we even bend the knee really deep, opening up and dropping the left toes to touch the floor and making sure that left knee is pointing towards the ceiling. If our head is lifted, see if we can release it down. We should feel a nice stretch, oh, in that right shoulder. Now the left hand is there for support, so we can use it to press into just a smidge, but we don't wanna press hard and force our body into something it's not ready for. If we don't wanna press into it at all, that's fine. But we should for sure be feeling this in that right front shoulder there. Get ready to switch sides here soon. Slowly come back to our bellies. Switch sides. Now take, so here we go, we're switching sides. So let's bring both hands back out. We're back to that letter T, right? We're laying on our belly, the tops of our feet are on the mat, our forehead and our nose are on the mat. The left hand is extended straight out from our left shoulder. 
Now keep the left palm down, slide the right hand under the right shoulder, so we look like we're gonna do a push up, keeping the left arm straight out, and then use that right hand to help us roll over and lay on our left hip. So if our head is lifted, we release it here. That right foot, the right knee can prop in front. We might feel really tight in our shoulders, so this might be really intense. We might need to be kind of more on our belly. Or maybe we want to stack that foot on top. Maybe our dog needs to move out of the way. Or maybe we bend the knee and drop the toes behind the body, but they're touching something. They're not just hovering. This hand is here for support. Maybe one side feels way more intense than the other. Again, maybe we even press a little bit into that right hand to open the left shoulder even more. slowly come back towards our belly. Oh, our, be our body has cooled down a bit, so we'll have to heat up again. So when we're ready, we're back on our bellies. Let's bring our hands under the chest like we're going to do a push-up. Tuck the toes, walk those knees in a little bit. Pull the elbows in. Now press in so we have a bit of a trot around the arms, maybe adjust, and then drop all the way back down so the hips stay up. Press right back into the hands. Drop that back down to the chest. Pressing back up. Right back down. So we're not fully extending our arms. We're just coming to a chat around the arm and back down. If we really want to press up, we can, but we kind of lose the intensity as we take a break and lock out our arms. So we come down, press halfway up, back down. Halfway up, back down. Okay, we're going to hold this one. Press halfway up. Pull those elbows in for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One, press up, uh, round over the thighs for one breath. Come forward to our hands and knees, find that plank, downward facing dog. All right, inhale the right toes up, bringing the right foot to the front of the mat, hips are low, railroad truck feet, high lunge. Inhale, sit nice and low. All right, reach through the hands, shoulders up, back and down. So we lift the back heel higher, drop the hips lower, inhale, exhale, maybe we bring the elbows and lift through the chest. Inhale, lift, exhale, open up, warrior two. So our heels are coming to a balance beam now. The left heel presses away, front knee bends and stacks right over the heel, so not in front of the heel, right on top of it. Hands are reaching in opposite directions. Shoulders pull away from the ears. Shoulder blades squeeze together and we reach through the hands. Sitting lower, reach through the front fingertips, flip that palm. Left hand comes to the left eye, coming up reverse warrior. Our right hand's lifting higher, left shoulder drops, reverse that warrior. So if we feel like we're collapsing forward, keep our spine long, our chest lifted and reach through the top hand, straighten the front leg, reach, reach, reach. To the front of the mat with that right hand, hand comes to the shin, or the thigh, left hand lifts, we squeeze the shoulder blades together. Ah, where you're gonna twist, so bend that right leg, bring the elbow to the thigh. Bow and arrow the left hand down. As we do, left heel lifts, so we slowly transition. Left hand is under the shoulder, on the block or the floor. We bow and arrow that right hand up, twist. Finding some strength here, inhale. Exhale, lift the bottom hand off for a second. Come back down, inhale. Exhale, lift up and back down. Inhale, exhale, lift up, hold, hold. Maybe keep coming up, twisting towards that right leg. Pull that right shoulder open. Maybe we sit higher in the legs, reaching the hands in opposite directions. Then maybe we drop a little lower. Cartwheel, hands on either side of that foot. Take the right toes to the sky, shake it out. Shift forward, bring the knee towards the nose. We're in our plank, round the spine. Inhale the toes up. So we're coming back to that scorpion. Shift forward now, bend the knee the other way. So the toes point towards the top of the head. Pressing through the hands. Inhale the toes up. Straight leg, come forward into our plank. Chaturanga all the way to the belly. Ah, cobra, inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, back down, hips up. Elbows in, press up. Down dog. 
All right, inhale the left toes up. Bringing the left foot all the way to the front of the mat. Feet are spread far, railroad track. Slowly come up, take our time. Getting the shoulders over the hips. Sitting low. Inhale nice and high, reach the hands high. Shoulders up, back and down. Sitting low in the legs. Okay, so we wanna feel the rounding in that mid spine. So as we come in, we don't wanna feel it in the low back. So we can sit higher, tuck the tailbone a little, inhale. Exhale, bring the elbows and lift through that chest. Inhale, lift. Exhale, open up warrior two. So take a moment or two here, making those adjustments, finding our heels on the same line. So if I were to line my heels right on the mat, that's where we wanna be. It can be heel to arch, but we just wanna to listen to our body and keep our, our hips nice and safe. Back heel presses away. Our hips and our shoulders open to the long edge of the mat without letting that knee dump in. So we open. Reaching the hands in opposite directions. Ah, sitting nice and low. Retract those shoulder blades. Reach, reach, reach through the front fingertips. Flip that palm. Back hand supports ourselves on that back leg. Lift through the top hand. Now we're not shrugging. We have a long neck here. Pull the shoulder blades together. Inhale. Exhale, reach a little farther back. Drop through the hips a little lower. Inhale. Exhale, reach a little more, keeping both sides of the ribs long and not letting one really crunch. Okay. Straighten that front leg. Reach the front fingertips forward until they can't go any farther. And then the hand drops to the shin or the thigh. Top hand comes up. Attract the shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale, sit a little lower. Nice deep inhale, sitting a little higher. Exhale, a little lower. We're gonna bend that front leg, elbow to thigh. Here's where we twist, so slowly bend that top hand, that top elbow. Now, we lift the back heel as we pivot the whole body towards the front, towards the mat. Right hand is under the shoulder. We're nice and strong here, bone arrow that left hand up. The back heel's working over the toes, and we keep our hips low. Inhale, exhale, lift the hand off the mat for a second. Right back down. Inhale, exhale, coming up. Slowly come back down. Here's our last one we held. Inhale. Exhale, come up, hold. Maybe we come all the way up, twisting, bringing our shoulders over the hips, but reaching the hands in opposite directions. Just feeling that twist. A little lower in the legs. Cartwheel, hands on either side of that foot. Take the left toes to the sky. Hands are shoulders distance. Shake it out. Here's where we crunched in. So come forward into that plank. Round the spine, knee towards the nose. Inhale, toes come to the sky. Then we find that scorpion. Exhale, come forward, bend the knee, point the toe towards the head. Inhale, toes come up. Come forward, left toes are straight towards the back of the mat. Chaturanga all the way to the belly. Release. Let's take our hands back by our hips, flip our palms to face the floor. Now squeeze the glutes. We're gonna keep the tops of the feet pressed into the mat. Inhale, exhale, reaching a little farther back. Squeeze those glutes, pull those abdominals in. Pull the shoulders away from the ears, nice long neck. Inhale, exhale, reaching a little farther back. Nice, deep inhale. Exhale, reaching a little farther back. My head went up. I'm hyperextending because that's what we want to do. So let's start and pull it back in and keep that chest lifted. Slowly release. <sighs> We're releasing everything. So we can stay here or maybe we want to prop ourselves up a little bit. And we just kind of thread one hand across the body and then thread the other hand. So we kind of shimmy. So our arms look like an X, palms are going to face the ceiling. And feel a bit of a stretch in the shoulders. Our back is, is feeling that stretch as well. If our head's collapsing, see if we can find that nice long neck. If this feels uncomfortable at all, we back off. So I'm gonna try to turn. Yeah. Kind of funky here. I'm gonna be on the tile. So from here, I reached across and I shimmy the other. So it doesn't always work nicely. You kind of have to shimmy sometimes. And you reach. I'm gonna switch sides. So when we're ready, slowly come up. Come on out however we need. Ah, maybe we lift up for a second. 
and then we switch sides. So opposite hand comes in front, and then we shimmy our hands out. So we might need to adjust, but we're flipping the palms to face the ceiling. If our arms look like this, and they're like, what am I doing wrong? My shoulders just aren't getting there. That's because everybody's different. So we all have different levels. We have different body anatomy. Maybe we're really, really, really strong in our shoulders. So we're tight in the shoulders. And slowly come out when we've had enough. Ah. And then from here, we're gonna reach our hands out in front like Superman again. So hands are reaching, but our neck is nice and long still. And then we're gonna reach the hands towards the front. And then we're gonna slowly lift up, flip the palms to face the ceiling. Inhale, reach forward, palms face each other. Exhale, now I lie, bring the palms to face the floor. So thumbs can even point towards the ceiling as we rotate, find an external rotation in the shoulders. Inhale, reach forward, thumbs up still. Exhale, bring those thumbs up, lift. Inhale, come forward. Glutes are squeezed, right? So are those abdominals. Exhale, come back. We're holding that next one. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, bring the hands back. Holding for five more. Three, four, three, two, one, release. Ah, it's strong backs today, right? All right, let's find ourselves in a sphinx. So slowly just walk ourselves up. Ah. We're checking that our shoulders are right over the elbows and not on the inside. So they stack right over. Fingers are spread wide. And our, hand, our arms are going to look like 11s. Maybe they come out a little wider than all 11s, but maybe not. But we press into the whole hand, into the forearms. And then we take our chest and try to pull it through the arms. The lower half of the body is on vacation. So we just start to pull the chest. It's not going to go anywhere, but it's going to help us find that length that we need in our spine. If we start to get tired and notice we start sinking into the shoulders. Oh, I'm sinking. I'm going to press right back away. Continue pulling through the forearms, through, trying to pull through the triceps pressing into the forearms and into the hands. We can even bend our knees and point our toes towards our head. But the glutes are active. If we feel discomfort in the low back, we don't do that. We back off and we just work on that thoracic mobility. When we feel that, that fatigue in the shoulders, press away a little more. Slowly release. Slowly come down. I'm going to show everybody the difference in thoracic mobility, especially in youth. Cam, come here. This will be fun. Stay right there, Mark. Okay, Cam. Ready? Come on your belly. Now, ready? Now, press away, lift. We're doing this one sphinx. Now, start to bend the knees and bring the toes towards the head. So drop your chest. Look at that. Look at that, this is my max. Oh, press, even when I press with my hands a little. And that's after like 45 minutes of working, working that heat up in the body. So we just let go where our body doesn't go yet. And we continue to use the word yet. Mara, back up, baby. And then we just kick our kids off our mat because we're jealous that they can do that and we're envious of it. All right, back to where you are, please. Continue coloring. Please don't show everybody undies. No, no, no. Did you hear me? Go, go, go. Go color. I can't, I can't fix this. All right. So when we're ready, that was a lot of back flexibility, right? Hands under the chest. Tuck the toes. Press up. Round over the thighs. Oh, nice child's pose. Counter stretching. Hmm. Take the hands all the way back by the heels. Palms face the ceiling. Just another breath or two. 
Relaxing that back and the spine. Let's come back forward. Hands come forward. Back to our bellies. So we're coming back to that Sphinx. But we're going to find a half bow here. So we can keep our arm extended out, but our glutes are squeezed. The abdominals are active and we're not shrugging, so our neck is nice and long still. We can even take that hand and pivot, but keep the shoulder over the elbow. We can help with that little bit of a push-up arm and then pull the heel in towards the glute and then flex the foot. So try not to let the knee be wider than the hip. It's right in line with that hip. Thumb faces the floor, grabbing the outside of that ankle. Flex the foot and then press away through that forearm and protect the knee. If it hurts, we back off. My knee is not happy with me right now. I'm going to back off because I'm going to listen to my body. That's enough. We can stay right here. When we're ready to switch sides, we release. Slowly come back to center. Press away in that sphinx again. And then pivot the other hand if that's what we did. And then we use the left hand down and a bit of a push-up to help ourselves come up. And then we bend that opposite leg. Foot is flexed. Thumb faces the floor. We reach back. Again, knee stays at hip distance. But we don't, so I didn't remember to mention this, we don't let the shoulder fully open. We're going to square right back down to center for this half bow. We can kick into the hand. When we're ready, release. Come back down, tuck the toes, back to that child's pose, press up, rounding over all of the legs. I'm gonna get an option to do a full bow so we can just reach towards the hands, the feet, I'm sorry, or we grab the ankles like we did, but with both hands. So slowly come forward, all the way to the belly. So it's really important to find a nice foundation here first. So we're flipping our palms to face the floor. So by doing that, we, we find that external rotation in the shoulders, and that automatically is going to help lift our chest up on its own. Now we squeeze the glutes, and we pull the belly button and activate those abdominals, and then we can pull the heels in here towards our glutes. So the feet are flexed, the knees are hips distance, and we can grab our ankles. If the knee came out, we pull it right back in. So it's in line with our hips. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, and we can pull the heel towards the glute. Again, we're not hyperextending that neck nice and long. We can even kick into the hands. But again, we're feeling it in our thoracic spine. If we feel it in the low back, come back down. We don't, that's not what we don't want to feel it in the low back. So we come back down, then squeeze the glutes tighter, pull the abdominals tight, keep them active, and then lift again. can lift the knees if we'd like, but again, we're trying to avoid feeling it in our low back. Feels like a nice shoulder stretch as well. Slowly release when we've had enough. Ah. And when we're ready, bring in the hands under the chest, tuck the toes, come up, round over the thighs. All right, I think we're about out of time here. Ah, all right. So one more glorious little twist and feeling a nice stretch in the back and in the shoulders. We're gonna come back to our hands and knees. And if this doesn't feel good, we back off. So hands and knees here, press away nice and strong. Now let's all take our hands out one half of a handprint. And the reason I wanna do that is so that we can graze the back of that wrist to help us not get too close as we come down to our knee because we want to work the hips over the knee but we don't have if we already know where we're going we can keep the hand where it is otherwise just bow and arrow the left hand open inhale exhale now take the left hand graze the back of that wrist reach 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 all the way down to the shoulder so it's a deep twist here but we're pretty warm we've done a lot of back warm-ups here it, it's hard to see so we don't want the hips in front of the knees. We don't want it really far behind it. We just are looking for that little happy medium. So reach through the fingertips, and then the neck is nice and long here, so we're dumping. Keep it nice and, nice and long, and support ourselves with that top hand. Like we did in that little T shoulder stretch, we can press into that push-up type hand, deepening our twist a bit.
when we've had enough, press into that hand, come up. We're switching sides. So bring the hand shoulder distance, maybe break it up with the cat cow. Back to neutral spine. So if we did so on the other side, walk the hands up just a smidge. Now right hand with bow and arrow, lift. Reverse bow and arrow, graze the back of that wrist. So that's helping us not come too far in towards the knee. So we reach back, reach, 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 reach. Bend the elbow, we come all the way to the shoulder. And we're working our hips to try to be over the knees. The left hand is in that push-up position. The right palm that's reaching out is facing the ceiling. And then we press into that right shoulder and into the left hand so we're not dumping into our neck here. So there's barely any weight in the side of our head because we're pressing into the shoulder and into that left hand, deepening our twist, breathing into it. Nice deep inhale, exhale. When we're ready, pressing into the hand, come up. Ah, all right. Let's sit on back, swing our legs around. So we're going to get a chance to do bridge or wheel, which my child loves also, so I might pull her back to show you the variations. So we'll slowly help ourselves back to our backs. We're opening our feet wide, and we're just letting our knees rock side to side, like windshield wipers. So the feet continue contact to the floor. They just kind of rotate what part of the foot they're on. And trying to go smoothly and not hunk, hunk. Nice smooth transition, releasing the low back. And when we've had enough, plant the feet. And then press into the feet and lifting through the hips, drawing the shoulder blades together, squeeze the glutes lifting. We can stay here or we place our hands right next to the ears, so the thumbs are facing the ears. Come on, Cam, that's fine. And press into the hands. So we're walking, no, we're walking our feet so they're hips distance. Oh, this first one is pretty intense. So we'll do another one. Heels can release towards the floor. Maybe they're up high. But we press the chest forward. Ah. Oh, my. And then we slowly come on down. Pull the knees into the chest, rock side to side a little. We're gonna do it again. Yay. Because repetition builds mastery. You got no shorts on, you gotta wait till next time. Sorry. All right, when we're ready, we're gonna do it again. Can you go back out by your sister, please? No? Oh, I hope my kids aren't gonna make this hard. I'm sorry, everybody. All right, so when we're ready, plant the feet. Find that bridge again or straight into wheel. Ooh, those are shorts in there. Pressing the hands next to the ears, pressing up. So same thing. Ooh. And also make you lock your hands in. Oh. Ooh. When we've had enough, we come down. That was the last one. Oh, pull the knees in. Rock side to side. Uh. All right, Cam, you're free. You can go. Go finish coloring. Please. All right. So when we're ready, uh, let's find a little bit of a reclined pigeon. Open the hips up, crossing the right ankle over the left thigh, and then open up the front knee. And then we're going to reach between the left and right thigh and grab under that left thigh. And then pull the chest, the knee in towards the chest a bit letting that right knee open. So we're feeling the right hip open, actually. Keep that right foot flexed. Slowly release that foot, we'll switch sides, drop the right foot, cross the left foot over the right thigh, and then open that front knee. Now again, we'll reach. So we're reaching the left hand between that left and right thigh. 
and then grabbing under the thigh and not on that shin. And then pull it in, slowly come back, pull that knee in. Oh, maybe one side is tighter than the other. Is it this side? It's this side for me. Inhale. Exhale, pull that thigh in a little more. Continue breathing. One more. Slowly release it. Dropping the opposite foot. And when we're ready, we can go straight into our final relaxation. Or we can round into a little ball. So wrapping our arms around our legs. Squeezing every muscle we can think of. So squeeze the, the feet muscles and our calves and our quads, our abdominals, our glutes, our muscles in our chest and in our back and our biceps. Our face screws up, our hands tighten everything. We take a nice deep inhale and we exhale, release it all. To our final relaxation. So finding what our favorite Final relaxation is, so our palms will rotate, face the ceiling. We just release any of that leftover tension in our body. And go of the tension in the toes and calves and quads, our glutes, our abdominals, any of the tension in our chest or shoulders, our arms, our fingers. Our jaw, release the tension in the jaw, releasing the tongue from the roof of the mouth, relaxing the forehead, focusing on a nice deep inhale through the nose. As we exhale through the nose, release that tension, feel the body melting into the mat.
we're just beginning to bring awareness back to our bodies. Rolling over to one side and using our hands to slowly help us up to a seated position. And finding some length in our spine, we'll reach the crown of the head nice and tall. Rolling the shoulders up, back and down. Inhaling our arms overhead. Exhaling our hands towards our hearts. Namaste.